Welcome back to Red Dead. It's a, a kind of benevolent right. deposit or despo. Uh, so, Sorry, uh, my brain didn't work there for a second. Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. Herr Cool. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. So we're saving Javier now. I think. The entrance is along here. Just watch your foot. Javier, let's get him. Oh yeah, but the um. So today I'm meeting with a friend I haven't spoken to since like junior year of high school. <laughs> on Discord, ironically, of all places. Oh, you guys are gonna talk on Discord? Huh, but here's the thing. Did I ever tell you about the old YouTube group I used to be a part of? Uh, yes. He's one of the guys. But not the guy who got jealous. Oh, no. Place we just escaped from. I don't know where that guy is. Hopefully he's doing okay. You go back to oh, you just kind of stopped talking to him when he's getting wanna, jealous? What was that? <laughs> the guy who was getting all jealous and stuff. Did you just kind of stop talking to him? No, it was more of like a uh, situation. Sorry about that pause. It was more of a situ- It was more of a uh, situation where it was, um... We started talking to after, but... I want- Jealous is like... He wasn't necessarily jealous that I was doing it. He was jealous that other people, like no one watched the old stuff that we did, but people watched my stuff, and that's where it's centered from. I highly doubt he's basically he was jealous that it was doing better now than it was. Well, well, I, I know for fact those two are like still friends. I'm just saying, I he may or may not have been jealous. I hope everything turned out well for that guy. I will do whatever it I'll, takes for us I'm gonna talk about two idiots in a game with yeah. this on. guy. Bye. And if he starts watching it, he's gonna see this episode and be like, What? He was never jealous of you. That's just gonna be a bad look. So, I mean, that's so I'm not gonna say he was necessarily jealous, but people would come up to me and say I was doing well, and they didn't. And he got a little bitter at points, but. The money, the gold. A key. Damilo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is the bottom. So we lost. Exactly. We lost everything, really. That's yeah, all at the bottom of the sea, like you just said. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, maybe Dutch shouldn't be allowed to have the track record. I mean, you've also got quite a bit of money. Oh yeah, I'm bougie and rich. <laughs> Case in point, look at all the outfits. Yeah, you don't have all of it with you, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have our guns, our horse, or our satchel. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten, poor bastards. No, that was me. Well, also poor me. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends to the U.S. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I've been sneezing a lot, dude. Allergies are kicking my butt. The only one they took alive. Why is that? You think? Oh, but what I was gonna say was, uh, talking about the old YouTube group, but ironically, Two Eats in a Game is way more successful than either of the stuff I did solo or me and the other people did together. <laughs> Reasonable. It, it's, uh, I don't know. Interesting. Exactly. Hey, it's a fun time. I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring it up. He kind of reached out to me out of nowhere, so I'm kind of curious. But I'm not gonna bring it up unless she's like, hey, you still doing stuff? Then I'll bring it up. Yeah, reasonable. But I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, look how great I'm doing. Look how awesome this turned out. Your yeah, hand. Well, I mean, like, there's no re there's no reason to brag. I don't. Yeah, so, you know me. I'm not a cocky guy. Yeah. And he was. Don't brag in general. I know they're like they're he like they're like full on like script writers now. So like if he talks about stuff they're creating, 
that'd be kind of cool because I, I originally was gonna do like voice stuff because they did like a they basically like ran like shows once I kind of get I can tell you a lot about that actually it once it okay more just a second hey more hey now whoa Jesus what was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, At least pick up the gold from her body. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I oh, he did not like that. Sure some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? Ever so slightly, actually. I guess. Listen. <clears throat> Son, you think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? Because I said so. In the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Art. <laughs> yeah, he certainly lost his mind since Saint Denis. I'm doing the best I can. But my friend! I do not understand. Who are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. I was right. Here? It's Mexico. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule But to be fair, I highly doubt people were traveling that much in 19 or 1899. No, 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 we traveled back then. Unless you were really rich. Well, I'm saying from like other Latin countries. Like I said, not unless you were really rich. Yeah, then you could do it. You could buy a boat, which were worth like twenty dollars. Uh, probably more than that. Probably like two grand. I get curious. They're all listening to that football. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. So far, you're right. Oh, I get to use my knife. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. I'll take right. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. You took, you took too long. Yeah, he was taking a dick here. Why? Why? We're gonna basically shoot our way They're out. They're not gonna see the the blood. Over here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. There's like a. It literally looks like someone was murdered. Oh, yeah, now I remember this mission. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. But after we murder like 10 more people, while well, our appetites disappear and literally kill all of them so that there's no witnesses. Wait for the guards to leave. <laughs> you got anything to drink, dude? Oh, they're gonna have a nice drink with buddies. I'll deal with this. And now, quick, hide them in the bush. It's like, really? Dump them in the back. You just call them a queer? Huh? 
I'm gonna watch that back. I think it's like one of the subtitles okay. outside. Now we need to create a diversion. Oh. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to Wouldn't strangle? Be surprised. That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff huh? up. <laughs> exactly. You any dynamite? Oh no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, what yeah. does that mean? Is sugar explosive? No problem. You'll see. Maybe. Oh, well, it's just. It's, pro Go on, quick. it's probably flammable. Close the shut. The shutters are already closed. I have never heard of that. I guess I'm gonna get really hazy. Guys, this place will go. Does he mean like burn, blow up? No, the sugar's kind of getting in the air. Let me turn out the furnace. Hey, this is a ticking time bomb. What's rolling? I don't really like a nice brisk jog. Oh, there's like sugar now going in between like the floor. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. Uh, okay. okay. As long as I don't get blown up, I don't care. Oh, it's raining. What's the point of starting a fire? To burn everything inside. We better hurry. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're making a distraction. Following Dutch Vanderlyn. Only murdering innocent people like him. Pretty good distraction, Dutch. I have here. So we do all that distraction and for nothing. Oh, groin shot. It's like you did that distraction for nothing. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's on the side of the head. Yeah, look at my awesome face. Yeah, I understand that, but that guy got... Crap. Covered Dutch. I love doing this for some reason. Once again, it's all Dutch's fault. Oh, I didn't even see that time. I know Dead Eye makes combat way easy, but never doubt my red eyes or my red dead combat skills. I think we're supposed to I don't do I Uh that I'm at a dead eye so Skate through the sugarcane fields. Got it. I 
I see that. Oh, my brain, it's like so many people. My brain can't focus. We got shot through the leg, so he... Shot through the leg. And you're to blame. Dutch. Dutch, you give. Javier. Outlaws. I bet. Oh, there you go. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shot through the leg. Dutch is to blame. You give out laws a bad name. Give me that. What are you gonna do up there? Oh, right in the eye, baby. Uh, was he like breathing real weird? Uh, next. Uh, I mean, it's, it was pretty heavy. Next time on Red Dead, he's been Seth. He's been Josh. But boy.